you doing viewers? Thanks for tuning in for this video. This is going to be an unboxing and quick setup. Um, this here Sunny Health and Fitness indoor cycling bike. The model number is right there. SFB1110S. The S standing for silver. This also comes in a white model as well. And I read a lot of the negative feedback on the shipping and my bike here stands true. I mean, you can see just how tore up this box is. All right, and there is a quick note here and it just says that it's recommended for two people to be, uh, put this together but I'm going to attempt this by myself and see how long it takes. Alright here's a close-up of the packaging itself. So like I said pretty light you're just dealing with a single layer of corrugated box cardboard and then you have some styrofoam pieces here. The whole bike itself is wrapped in this plastic but other than that you really don't get very much uh, padding whatsoever on either side it looks like. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box. All right, so here's a quick shot of everything taken out. So. There's your, um, it's probably the, the uh, stem or uh, bar mount system there. There's the handlebars. It's your saddle, which looks a little bit different than the picture I saw online, but I'm gonna be using my own saddle anyways. This is your seat post right here. And that's pretty much the side. This is probably some of the smaller pieces and um, screws and whatnot. There's the box, a little bit of plastic and then some particle board for the uh, footer of this box, keep it solid. Here is the uh, major part of the frame here. And I'm glad to note that none of this plastic is broken on mine. I saw a lot of people um, that unfortunately had some cracks or missing pieces from these. So I'm glad that I have those intact. This is your whole mechanism for your resistance. Looks like I'm gonna have to mess with some of this a little bit. All right, there you go. Pretty quiet operation from what I'm seeing so far. This has a uh, nice hefty 44 pound flywheel, which is really nice. And it'll help you basically get that maximum road feel and feel like you're really pedaling on the road. Again, on this side of the styrofoam, looks like some more smaller pieces. There's your water bottle mount or holder. You have the pedals right here. Some more little pieces on the bottom there. I'm guessing that's gonna be for the, uh, the footers on the front and back, just to keep this stable and everything. But there it is. Looks like you got another little box here. I gotta open that up and see what's inside. All right, I was just curious on how this whole thing was set up, so. Here's a quick kind of inside shot of everything. So you have your chain ring right there. You have a basic chain. Looks like it has some grease already applied to it. Looks like some just some automotive red grease actually. And then you have your um, cassette, your single speed right there. Now this is how to adjust the tension on the chain. So as you can see here, probably say that's about half an inch of movement. So that's how it's set up from the factory. If you guys are having issues with your chain and you want to see how tight it should be, aim for about half an inch of movement. Uh, so far from what I've seen, it's pedaling pretty smoothly. So I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm not really gonna mess with it right now, but that's how to take this apart. <clears throat> so this whole thing just swings around um, just like that. And then it's held together by, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten screws all around. And that's the assembly right there. All right, so I have the bike fully built, and now I'm going to get into a really basic bike fitting for you guys. So kind of eyeball everything at first. And what you want to do is hop on. Get your feet into these toe clips. You can actually cinch these down but i'm gonna leave them loose for now so 
A good starting point would be to get the pedal down at the bottom of the stroke and I'm not sure if you're gonna make that up, but I have a slight bend in my knee, which is what you want. You can also flip this around and put your heel on it. If you could reach it with your heel without stretching and turning your hips, then that's a good uh, starting point for the height of the saddle. Now you also have four and a half of this uh, seat post right here. So uh, what I like to do is get your pedals parallel to the ground 50-50 and look straight down. You can also get a weight with a string and do that, but you want the front or kneecap to be in line with the spindle of the pedal. So the center of the pedal straight down. So I'm kind of eyeballing it right now. Again, this is a really quick fit, but I'm seeing that this is pretty good. The seat could probably go back a little bit, but other than that, this is kind of how I would have it. Yeah, you probably need to saddle back a little bit. Bar height on something like this, it's pretty much what's comfortable. Uh, if you're doing uh, road cycling and doing kind of a race fit, you would typically have uh, bars in level with your saddle or even lower, some people like it really low just to get that arrow attack position. But again, spin bike, you're not going anywhere. So comfort is key on this. Um, I think I have it set in the middle position right now or one of the middle positions and it's feeling pretty comfortable. I have this brought all the way back just so I'm not stretching. I can even get the arrow bars, hold on to it like that, and I'm feeling pretty comfortable actually. I'm gonna see uh, and review the footage of this video here just to see how my angles are. There's that one rule where you basically make kind of a box with your arms, your torso, and your legs. So I might check that out as well, just to see how I'm looking, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable on this right now. Fit finish on this bike is great. I love the uh, attention to detail. The design is great. Really solid bike. You can stand up and pedal. You can increase the resistance on this thing. You just crank on it. It's not going anywhere. Liking that. Really liking that as well. Loosen that back up. Again, if you want to brake and stop, push down on this, it'll stop. You definitely don't want it to be spinning and just try to hop off of this because you got that. 44 pound flywheel spinning. So make sure to use that brake before you jump off this bike, especially if you're locked in like this, or if you have clipless pedals, that's gonna be yank your foot out of there. So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, other than that, I really can't say anything else about this bike. Anything more at least. I'm liking it. You can hear the noise is really, really minimal. I really wanted to go with a chain driven system. They do have the belt drive which is whisper quiet, can't even hear it. But I like having my own, uh, having a chain just so I can do my own maintenance on it. I can replace the chain if I need to pretty easily. You know, chains are available at pretty much any bike shop and even by Target and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I went with the chain driven system. You saw the kind of innards, how it works, how simple it is to adjust the tension on the chain. And I'm pretty much happy with it. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this bike and get some intense training sessions on it. All right, so again, this was the uh, Sunny Health and Fitness SFB1110S spin bike indoor training. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you're looking at this bike, I highly recommend it. Or even if you're not looking at it and I just opened your eyes to it, Definitely give it a look, check it out. It's a great bike. And uh, for the price, dude, you can't even beat it, man. Paid about 237 bucks for this. And like I said, I'm gonna be able to hook up my Garmin cadence, speed, even get my heart rate on my chest. And I'll be able to mount my Garmin Edge to the bars pretty easily. It even has a centerpiece where you can sit a tablet on and watch some of your favorite training spin videos doing some of my own race videos. I know that some of you have contacted me and uh, kind of let me know that you guys train with those those race videos and the, the ride footage in general. So thanks for that. Keep watching. If you're not already, subscribe to this channel. Appreciate it and uh, smash that like button, all right? Give me some training going. See you guys in a little bit.